Hi guys, it's Chloe and in today's video I'm going to be talking about different types of depression and the symptoms and potential treatment for either someone you know or yourself who may be experiencing a form of one of the depressions that I'm going to mention. So first off, there are different types of depression and each of them have different symptoms symptoms and offer different treatments for the specific disorder of depression. The main one typically going by major depressive disorder or just major depression or sometimes known as classic depression, clinical depression or unipolar depression. I mean I think most people now just call it major depression or clinical depression or the major depressive disorder. Them are the three I think most medical people or just people in general refer to it as is just depression or them three terms. But there are more but just based off the research I did. Um this mental health condition can involve symptoms such as obviously low mood, feelings of deep sadness or despair or just loss of interest in just things that you used to enjoy doing in um, everyday life and and speaking of someone who has have a, who has a diagnosis of depression and has been through help for that and to f if you are thinking that you p could potentially have depression um, if you've been feeling them particular symptoms for over two weeks, um, two weeks or more, then I rec would recommend you going to the GP talking about it and seeing what they could say, say they would refer you to talking therapy or counselling or if they would diagnose you there on the spot um, and see what happens because that's what I did and it's obviously I got a diagnosis out of it, I've had the help for it, I'm on a medication for it that helps. So it can be done if you do think that you've got it. It's just pushing yourself out there to get the help that you need. Um, so now the different types of depression are persistent depressive disorder which typically involve milder symptoms but can last for two years or longer. So that sounds like me because I got my diagnosis of depression when I was 14 or 15 and um, it obviously it's not something that's ever going to go away no matter the meds or stuff it is a life thing condition. People have good days, bad days, etc. So that sounds like me, but at the end of the day, depression is depression. So, yeah. Next one, seasonal depression, or otherwise known as seasonal depression disorder. Involves depressive episodes during a specific time of the year, or during a specific season, hence the word season in it. Which is usually in winter when it's colder and darker, and you're not really going out, you're not getting the sunshine as the sun can help someone help the mood, your mood. But it's not always that's not always the most common season or time for someone to have seasonal depressive disorder. Some people could be upset like have been more depressed in summer. Some could be in spring, some autumn, some just a random couple of weeks of a month. Uh, time it's it's different for everyone next one is peripartum depression or postpartum depression or prenatal depression different terms which all are basically depression when you are either during pregnancy after pregnancy or before, like whilst you are pregnant so it, between them times like if you develop a depression sort of thing then will be like the terms to refer to and um, this one's totally new to me this one pre menstrual dysphoric disorder otherwise known as PMDD which obviously is a type of depression disorder 
that involves extreme feelings of sadness and depression, along with other physical and mental health symptoms that show up mostly when, obviously, someone is going through their menstrual cycle, otherwise known as having a period. And I don't, I'm not going to say that, obviously, that this just applies to girls, as obviously, um, even though most do, there are some people who have periods that may not identify as girls, so I'm just saying anyone who goes through, goes through or has this, who has this, goes, ha, will ha, who has this disorder will go through mostly happens during when they're menstru- going through their menstruation. <laughs> Such a weird word. Most people just say periods. But yeah, um next two and then I'm on to the treatments. Um situa- situational depression. Oh, my words today. Um which obviously the symptoms emerge after experiencing a distressing or challenging life event such as divorce, loss, illness or something maybe like traumatic that's obviously that obviously it's not necessarily something traumatic could trigger depression that would be more linking to PTSD but it could also link to depression at the same time so there's that and last but not least a major depressive disorder but with some psychotic features which basically means that the person can experience all the symptoms that of depression whilst also experiencing some symptoms of psychosis such as hallucinations, delusions. You get the gist. Um, now on to the treatments. So I've got a list of five treatments for you. Three that I've tried myself. So yeah. One, which CPD, Cognitive Behavioural that Behavioural Therapy. Most people can get referred to get that straight away, but most of the time you get talking therapy first. And if the per- if the therapist thinks that it's not enough and you need to go get more higher treatment, then they'll refer you higher, and that's what that is. So I've had around talking therapy, and then I have CPT, and then I went back to talking therapy, and then I went back to CPT. So I've been both. But that's generally, I think, what must go, does happen. But I'm sure some people just get referred straight to CBD if it's like that bad. But yeah, two counselling. Obviously, how things started off. I've been through counselling, a lot of counselling as well. It was actually through counselling that the one of my counsellors picked up that I could potentially be autistic. So that's a story and a half. Three different medication obviously depending of your symptoms just like someone who's maybe got depressive symptoms but also psycho- psychotic symptoms maybe on an antipsychotic rather more than an antidepressive just medication so it all depends um four couple or family therapy um five interpersonal therapy um, them two I don't know much about. Obviously, couple and family therapy are straightforward. It generally, couple therapy is generally when you and your partner, married or not, um, have therapy or your family, etc. And then interpersonal therapy I don't actually know a lot about. But I just know that it's a recommended treatment to help. So, yeah. Um, that's all I've got for this video. Um yeah so i've been chloe um bye